Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are not focusing on Dauntless specifically, we are focusing on graphic settings for the first time since a friend of mine, Big Banana, big shout out to him, uh, posted me a link of Reshade, which is actually a pretty nice tool to increase your graphic settings besides uh, risking of having CPU drops or anything like that. It won't even cause a single FPS with the settings. I'm running it on the right side compared to the left side. As you can see, it's a bit, <laughs> let's be honest, it's a, it's a way, way uh, more detailed than the other side. And that only for the cost of not even a single FPS. In my case, it was like 0 0.7. Yeah, but let's jump right into it. Uh, first of all, of course, um, let's pause the video at this point and just read the text since uh, it's only it's a really good job by, by big banana as well already since he made a guide on it by written by hand of course at first you want to download the reshade uh, exit datai to then locate it on the, on the folder of your preferred choice of course and then just open it by double clicking it next you want to copy paste the link of your um, Dauntless shipping data, copy it and start the page by clicking on the 3D button. In your case, you have to uncheck all the things in there and just go with adaptive sharpen, clarity, colorfulness, DPX, and levels. Those five things are actually enough. I, I won't call it too too big of a deal. But it's really all you need to increase uh, the quality in Dauntless since Dauntless isn't really uh, finished yet in terms of graphics. So I wouldn't recommend doing all the stuff since it, uh, it tends to bug out like it did in my case. Uh, you know, I have a, have a pretty nice CPU running so I thought I'd just take all. But then it actually bugged. Just in case you're wondering, the graphics um, reshade optimizer is actually free to use and legal and as well tolerated by Dauntless since we ask them of course because sometimes in certain bug, uh, games this program can use uh, bugs and, and let you get banned since it interferes with the settings of the game and yeah after you have configured all your settings uh, you can start the game as you have seen this gray line in the game is of my reshade interface in the game, you simply have to open up your Shift and F2 button to open up the interface. In the interface itself, it shows you a variety of, of uh, tools you can use. I personally stick to these settings I will show you in this guide, since we will go through anything you might have questions about, about the, why is it so dark, why is it that colorful but only with, this, with those gray tones with those gray lightnings and all those questions will be answered but first just set all of your settings in one button and dpx on another one so you can then change whatever needs to be changed like you can see i can make it dark i can make it then brighter with the dpx which will be much much brighter in the end of the video of course when we uh, made it so that it actually fits to my monitor as well. That's another thing, uh, certain monitors have issues with this, so you might need to configure the contrast a little bit brighter or darker than I need to do. Of course, you can do this by hand on your monitor itself, but I recommend you do this in this software, since you don't want to, you know, start the game and every time you start a game or close the game, play another game or just simply do something with your desktop, you would have to then configure it to your monitor again just by hand and that is really an annoying stuff to do so we just uh, start off with this simple tasks here of course always reload your settings to test them the probably most um, common question is on why don't i just set my you know the performance level of the first thing we changed why not just set it as high as possible that's because it re really, really depends on the game. Of course, there are some games out there like Witcher. You could actually go for like 10,000, but it's you know it's just dauntless in uh, like hashtag just dauntless uh, in the beta. It might not support the game as well as it might as it should in cer with certain numbers. 
and as well it makes a big difference uh, on the appearance by the graphic settings as well. So I'm running my at full HD but even HD or even lower shouldn't be a problem in Dauntless as I said. Um, it's always the, it's about the engine of the graphics not the graphic settings. So then let's you know just go through step by step as well as um, I did it. Like you can then read certain things you need to know about the program of course. Um, it's, it's very basic and really easy to handle. At the end you might want to set the uh, level of the white and black like I did at 15 and 400 since the contrast in this game uh, of terms of colors um, are, isn't as definite uh, as it might seem. And then set your settings to performance mode instead of the configuration mode so you don't change anything by mistake. And now as you can see at the lower half of this window my FPS drops after using the performance mode after configuration configuring the performance mode it just dropped by about dot uh, old dot seven FPS so not even one single FPS drop and again big shout out to Big Banana big thanks to all of you guys watching this hope to see you again soon till then guys bye bye.